I always look at you on camera straight. You're getting spied on. Yeah. Going on YouTube, mate. <laughs> Start of the day. <laughs> We're going on the phone, Jake. Yeah. Everything's on camera, mate. Check this hard drive. <laughs> Morning, everyone. We are on our way to fit a, uh, a zappy today. Um, I'm not actually doing it. The guys are doing it. Uh, James and Jake are doing doing the install today um, so this is the, the new version 2 Zappi with the built-in Wi-Fi so we're gonna go shoot over there now which isn't far away from me it's about 10 minutes away so we're gonna go shoot over there I've got the charge point so I've got to give it to him and um, let them crack on but yeah we'll try and film a little bit over there <music> If I hold that side. <laughs> that top one's gonna be in the course. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Of course, it's a course. Oh, no, the yeah. <laughs> Their screw distances are literally almost. Yeah, it's better, just not level. <laughs> I'm not even looking at level now, I'm looking at the course. Good at the uh, yeah. Is that enough? Is that only the three you need? ASMR. Right, so this is the new the new Zappy version two. The built-in Wi-Fi in this one. So it's the first time we've used these. So Jake's just opening up. But the first thing you notice, there's no screws. There's just no plasters. Screws. <laughs> yeah, just plasters. I think I found the screws. Oh, that's bigger, isn't it? Look, that seems bigger. That's different. And I've got no rubber bits. No rubbers. Eh? One bit, I've got one. That's interesting. Oh, hopefully. You get a packet of screws. I think it's probably in there. Yeah, that's in there. Other in there. So you get. Okay, so there. Usually the rubbers are in the back. Already bung, like the bungs are in there. And you just put out what you need, but it looks like there's uh, some in the packet anyway. There's a load of little bits in there. Uh, okay. What are these? Oh, there's your front screw ones, isn't it? Good boy. Okay. Interesting. Other than that, what else is noticeable? Oh, I hate untethered ones because you can't remove the cover. <laughs> it's actually quite annoying. Um, I like the main terminals. Pushing. Pushing terminals. That's interesting. I didn't think. Uh, my energy would go that way with it, but you don't need to talk it anymore. I suppose a lot of uh, a lot of plant companies are doing that. Even the CTs, that the CTs are pushing. Just have to talk your wrists. Just <laughs> push them in. <laughs> two point five newton. One point two newton meters. Yeah, that might be the cover, is it? No. Oh, okay. So still got a sticker on it, but other than that, it looks a little bit different Small. in there, doesn't it? Smaller. Looks like it's been neatened up a bit. I suppose the. Uh, Pushing's all right, isn't it? Saves mucking about with that. I thought they'd have a... Um, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh. You know, like a 20 mil or 25 mil. Ah, you can see the back. So you've got the Wi-Fi, the Ethernet port. Um, that's interesting. That must be an antenna switched on, uh, stuck to the cover there for the Wi-Fi. There's the locking mechanism for the for the socket there. Yeah, there's a few different RFID. What's that RFID? Is that an optional extra thing? Maybe that's a future. Maybe see that there. It's got RFID written there. So I don't know if that's uh, something that's coming or um, that'll be quite handy for commercial. 
RFID. See, mind you, uh, don't don't have any RFID ones like the previous model, oh, so right. this would be a bit different. So, I reckon that's a future, maybe update. They'll send uh, RFID tags, so you can. It looks like it goes to there. Go yeah, because at the moment to unlock these is a password, isn't it? You can yes. set passwords in them. So, on commercial premises, um, it's it's probably a little bit too smart for commercial in that sense. But I know people do it. But with this, the RFID, because if you don't want to give passwords out to everyone, do you? So with RFID, they can just unlock it yeah, and charge yeah. for that. So it makes perfect sense. So okay, that's interesting. It's coming. But, um, yeah, it looks looks pretty. Uh, looks pretty good. Obviously, much the same, but um, with all the internals changed a bit. Still with the same packet of screws, and just the extra one with the cover ones in stuff and that. So I thought they always did a. Um, like a one thing I did, I give them some feedback on how they can improve Zappies. So. Um, he messaged, um, no, we had like a phone conversation. Just think, uh, I just I suggested that they put some clips on the sides of these and the hooks, they can hook it. So you can hang it, open it like we do with a 2D fitting or like a, an oh, LED yeah. light. You've got a hook, you can hang, hang it down while you terminate it. Yeah, yeah. Similar principle, if they put something in here, or wherever it's screwed to the, I don't know, I don't know how they'd do it, but just so you can suspend it and, and open it out yeah. rather than hang it and scratch it against the wall it's or damage. possible damage of stuff. So, cause you can't, that's the only thing with untethered. <laughs> it just, you can't do anything with it other than just leaving it hang and it just gets in your way. Surely you... ain't good for the terminals either hanging like that. No, I mean, it is, it's proper tired, isn't it? It's, it's not too much strain. It's not that heavy, but yeah, it would be nice to have it just hanging out of the way. So, because you, you've got to get the cable in, so Jake's got to move this in a minute to try and get the cable in and, and do it a clean. But it's just in your way. But if it was a way you could hook it up out of the way, yeah, would be ideal. But because the other ones, the tethered ones, I've even rested it on the plug. If I've got to do a measurement on the terminals um, for voltage. Then I've, I've rested it on the plug down a little bit because I need the display on. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it's a little bit, if you had a hook, so you can, it's all there, isn't it? But yeah. it just, maybe it'll be another little update later on. Version 3. <laughs> so you three CTs, so you've got the option of, you've got doing, it doesn't matter which order you do them, it's how we program them. But by default, CT1 is grid, which we can oh, change. It's not, it doesn't matter, we can change that. So what I usually do is CT1 grid, CT2 solar and CT3 battery. Okay. If you do any different, it's not it's not a problem. It can be it can be altered. Do you know which one you're printing? This is your. <laughs> it doesn't go in the bottom, Jake. Goes in the front. <laughs> So come back over to this job, the guys, the guys have fitted this um, zappy on here, they've done their cable route into here, that's a bit of a, yeah, it's a previous board that solar installers have done and run up to the roof, yeah, it's a bit excessive and um, some weird Chinese, Chinese brand, which, uh, yeah, not, um, not really seen or heard from before so but we've we've added in an SPD um, main switch um, so all we've got to do now is I've come around to go up in the loft they've got battery storage um, I didn't realize I had battery storage on this one but um, I've managed to, I've got another sen uh, CT sensor in the van anyway so I'm gonna jump up in the loft I'm gonna find the batteries I'm gonna see if I can get this on there thankfully they've run a cat5 probably for export limitation a cat fire from this board up um, they're using it from the meter connected to their in uh, the reverter so they're probably in their spare cores basically so we can connect up to the 
couple of spare cores. Hopefully there's no damage to the cable and stuff and it's not too far. Um, it's just so the Zappy can see the direction of flow from the batteries. It doesn't actually give you much information at the moment for batteries. Because um, I know there's other things that miners you've got in the pipeline. Um, for that, but we're going to go up the loft, try and find that and see if we can add, add this to it. Um, so they can see what's going on with the whole system. So the battery CT is inside that isolator. That's the feed in, and then it's from here. We've gone for a socket to the meter, which distributes power supply to the PV inverter. But this ace isolates a way good and comes through to here, which I'm not sure if I'm happy with the way go system. Um, but yeah, that's the way it's been done. It's pretty lazy the way they've done it, really. Could put a little board up there and isolate it all independently. But um, yeah, so there's the battery system. I'm gonna put the CT in there. Uh, connection which is the data cable that goes up through there and down down to the um, downstairs So just got back um, The guys done a good job getting all installed um, Unfortunately, we couldn't get it onto the internet. Uh, we had a problem with the Wi-Fi um, It has an option for WPS um, Which looks pretty simple um, as you know, We've tried the WPS button on the router um, and then on the Zappi, to we followed the instructions. It it just won't it won't connect. Um, there is a second option by uh, the Zappi puts out a Wi-Fi network, so you can log on to that um, and put the password in and go into the settings like you would do the router in your in your home um, uh, uh, for that that kind of thing. So, but when you go onto the page of it, it says that this page is locked. Uh, you need to go onto the Zappi's advanced settings to do it but I, I can't change anything else so I need some technical support uh, unfortunately because we're mucking about for nearly an hour trying to get it working which um, yeah it's not good not good start really but um, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's something I'm doing I don't think so I followed the instructions it's pretty simple anyway I didn't need to need to look at the book to start with but I looked in the book um afterwards just to confirm i'm doing the right thing and it's pretty obvious i am so i don't know why it's not connecting the wp just sort of times out it's sort of a tight two minute timer it counts down for to try and connect to the network the wps button light button is light uh, uh, he's flashing sorry on uh on the router but it's just not it's not picking it up it just times out after on the zappy after about 20 seconds or something but you just keep pushing it and trying it again. It just doesn't work. So, yeah, I'll um, don't know if it's something I'm doing, but yeah, technical is past five o'clock, so technical is shut. Um, I'll have to give them a call tomorrow and try and sort it out. So, fortunately, not good. So I might skip this bit of video to uh, the next day and hopefully give you an update on uh, what what if there's any problem with it or anything like that just to give you an update but other than that it looks good there's an rfid slot on the back of the zappy as you see from the video earlier um so it looks like it's rfid ready um so all it's got to do i assume they'll sell an rfid pci or something like that that will just slot into the back that you can use this maybe more commercial based uh, which is really good and sort of be more of a a dumb charger it's too smart for for a lot of commercial instances i think um so you can just rock up with an rfid boom and get in so no password and things like that um and leave all the smart stuff to the back end office really um so to manage but um yeah overall the charge point is is pretty good pushing terminals and stuff away the uh the user uh, the, the installer error in the in the tightness for the talks and stuff so um but yeah over and overall it, it, it seems pretty good it's just this wi-fi issue i hope it's something that um doesn't become a problem in every job so i'll update you probably in the next video um i'll do like a 60 second video or something of an update of how it was but i'll try and get this one loaded um so again thanks for watching uh, leave a comment below if you've got any questions, uh, subscribe, like the video, it really does help um, and try and grow the channel again.